Okay, so we got a train XE80. Inducers running when I got here. Um, we're getting four flash, and the board tells us right there four flash is thermal protection protection device open. So that means we got an open rollout. <sighs> Probably one of these guys here. That one or that one. What else do we got? Or the limit switch. And they've been doing some construction here, so that very well could be it. Grab a plug filter. Fan might not be coming on when it should, although the fan was running when I got here. Pressurize here. And it's steadily climbing. We're still climbing and we're at 145 that's way too hot and return is 64 so that's 36 and 45 is 81 and Temperature rise should be between 35 and 65, so we're 16 degrees above that already. So we're going to pull this filter out, see what happens. Don't ever run it without a filter. You'll plug up the A-coil. What do we got here? should start dropping for us. Okay, so she's dropped five degrees already. Let's get the filter back in there. Airflow points it at the furnace. Hopefully this will continue to drop. We'd like to see that at, obviously, in between our 35 and 65, which would be, let's see, 36, probably 135 max, or 130. For a couple weeks, yeah. All right, so, so we popped the. Sh I'm just talking to my video. Oh. So we popped the uh, sheet metal well, open. Well, not this morning. I lasted about. And checking the coil for blockage, and of course, it's plugged with whatever dirt that is. And, uh, So we'll just clean that out, put her back together, and we should be good to go. I didn't care. Oh, I didn't know that. My foot went into it. They've been living here seven years. They said they don't think they've ever ran it without a filter. So we're trying to figure out how the dirt was getting up through the furnace to the coil. And that little screw there, when they transferred from or started using a... Uh, a media filter instead of the electronics for this cryon here. Um, there's a screw there that sticks up. It's the only thing I can see that <clears throat> would allow dirt to get past the filter. So that screw is creating a gap around the bottom of the filter and over years enough dirt's gotten by there to <clears throat> cause that blockage in the coil. So I'm going to remove that screw and hopefully the filter will sit better in here actually that's probably not gonna well it could help we need we need that filter to be tight up against things here ok 
Okay, so once, okay, yeah, as long as it sucks up like that, and it's sitting tight on the bottom. It's hard to say. Sheet metal back together. Um, which was kind of a nightmare because the coil pans were stuck into the S slips. And uh, yeah, that was kind of a nightmare. Anyway, we're hopefully evening out here on the supply temperature. Remember your temperature rise is supply air temp minus return air temp, which is 65 over there. So 35 plus 20 is 55 degree temp rise. And again, you shouldn't take the, the supply air temp directly above in the plenum. A better spot would probably be through this tape here, uh, just so you're not getting that direct heat off the heat exchanger. So anyway, yeah, I think we've evened out around 124. Remember, we were up over around 140 with the plug coil. So 22 and 35. 57 degree temp rise maximum is uh, 65.